I think this is kind of funny. Um, two people have uh, messaged me and asked me to do a video on my wardrobe and my jewelry. I, so I've never done this before, but I figured, hmm, well, two people have asked. And while it is true that I know, I mean, the ruling planet in my chart is Uranus. And so Uranus steps to the beat of a different drummer. And so I have always done that in lots of different ways, but also in my in my clothing choices. Thankfully for me, I don't have to go out and work in a environment where there's something called appropriate dress. I, I could sit and wear a crown and a kimono all day long and do all the things that I want to do here at the monastery. So I thought I would start out with my kimono collection because <laughs> lover because um, the when I was thinking about how to show my wardrobe because it's so funny because it's all just hand-me-down um, garage sale thrift store stuff that I've just collected over the years and some of it is really super threadbare but I started thinking about it and I thought well how do I do that so I thought I would break it into pieces so the first one was sort of inspired by a video that I was watching of Cheryl Coyote she actually makes her own kimonos and that is not something that I have done but I have collected quite a few I'll show you some of them this one's one of my my favorites it's a a traditional one and I and I can't I gotta say I really I'm not real well versed on kimonos and the symbolism or the difference between Japanese Chinese or any other Asian I do I do uh, know a little bit just a little tiny bit about uh, Japanese because we always had Japanese foreign exchange students when I was raising the kids. This one even has like these pants that go with it. And Therese told me a little bit about what this hard thing is right here. So I use my kimonos in the winter um, mostly because it's just too hot to wear them right now. But I also mm. use them as decorations, by the way. This is part of my shawl collection, of which that will have to be a whole other video in itself. So there's that one. And then there's this one. <clears throat> this one I've had for a really long time. Um, when I was much thinner, I used to wear vintage slips with kimonos over them, all sexy-like, but it doesn't, it doesn't look sexy with the big tummy that I have right now. But I've always, I always loved this one. And now that guy gets to wear it. <laughs> so this one's just hanging in the bathroom. This one I wore a lot through the years. I had a lot of different kimono type things like this. I used to go into the garment district in LA and buy these up and wore a lot of these burned velvet. And so I wore them so much that you could see, you know, talk about threadbare. I can't really wear it. I've tried to mend it. So I just, now I just sort of decorate with it. I used to go into downtown Huntington Beach 
where I don't think they have that funky vintage clothing store anymore. But, um, and mind you, I'm just showing you, I've got closets with other ones still in it. But I use the kimonos in here to, uh, they are like curtains over the long-term food storage so that, so that, you know, it won't get like, uh, it just keeps the food in a cool, dry place. And so what I, and then some of these I've gotten at garage sales. Okay, so some of them I've gotten really good prices on and others I have spent mega bucks on. Like this one right here, this came from the, uh, the uh, vintage, the vintage store in Huntington Beach. And back then, Lover and I had kind of a lot of money in our pocket. And so I would think nothing of going down and getting myself a $60, $70 kimono. Now, I pay a buck each because I have like way too many kind of kimonos. This one actually is really, I mean, you could see I have, I have taken stitches in it. It's, it's really super funky. I used to wear a, a red vintage slip underneath this and it was so gorgeous. But now it's, it's just, oh, it's really needs some work. But mind you, these are really old. Now this one I got from Kelly. It's just, I just have it up here because it's, it's just sort of the kimono style, but I think I'm going to use the material to make something. This one is, is so, like some kind of cute, it's almost like paper. This is a Japanese style. It's almost like paper. This one has seen better days. This one is reversible. So it's it's blue on this side and then it's same thing but pink in there. This one, this one is just, that's ready to go. I mean, that's ready to just disintegrate. But I liked it because it's, uh, first of all, it's huge. But I liked it because of the, uh, the embroidery work on it. And you can see how thin it is here. This one I just wore the other day. I love a green color, but you can see, um, I got it for a dollar at a garage sale. Like the little moths have eaten it and then this one here I've shown you before this one is like like for a monk or something but I like the buttons on it and so and I like the the Chinese kind of symbolism Let's see. this one I like this one you know I wear it's just a beautiful pink silk. And I I used to fucking wear these at Trader Joe's, man. I didn't care. But now I will wear them to the cliff when we go watch the sunset. It's just cool enough so that I can put one on. Here's my, my Joseph's coat of many colors. And I love this. It's a burned velvet one. And actually, this one was a gift from Annie. This is from my days of going down to uh, the garment district. It's very witchy. Here's one of the, uh, the ones that I got at that garage sale for a buck. I don't like, I don't like when the, uh, when the sleeves are like this. I, I like it better when, when it has that big pockety thing on the arm. So let's see, there's more over here. I, I put them up because this has lover's work stuff 
and I don't like to look at it. So I have these. See, here's the arm that I like. I'm looking on those. And this one is, uh, this is a Japanese one. It's made in Japan. Then there's two more over here. I like the embroidery of the dragon, but this one is really old. And can you see the yucko on the sleeve here? Plus, I don't like that sleeve, but it's reversible. So uh, when I wore this down to the cliff the other night, I wore it with the red and I got few comments from the dog walkers and then here's one that was a gift from uh, my friend Norm remember remember Norm when he lived up the street and his mom was in hospice and I had the blessing of being able to babysit her while he went out and got got a little bit of refreshment every once in a while so I like that one here's one that's not a kimono but it's got the dragon motif. And so I just let it be on my chair just to decorate it. Because when clothes are really pretty, then, then they can become like, you can decorate with them. So there is a few, uh, there's not that many other kimonos. There's like some in the hall closet in the front. But um, this is my collection. And yes, I love to wear these. Guess what? I looked in that closet to see if what I did have in there. And there was just one. And it really wasn't a kimono per se. But it's just this vintage jacket. Collar. And it's... And let me see. Hold on a second. Put it up like this. You can see it's just. Can go back there. It's really cool on, but it was cooler on. I would say about 15 years ago. I haven't really worn it very much, and when I took it out of the closet, I noticed something. I'm gonna have to look in there and look through those but see this that's like a uh, moth well this it's moths but uh it's on by the fur coat right next to it and so the moths have started to eat through it my dearly departed dad would tell me Jacqueline there's a thin line between trash and treasure. I know, Dad. We'll see. I might have a garage sale. Anyway, so this is the first of my wardrobe videos. My kimono collection. Hope you enjoy, dear friends, and thank you for making that request to be continued. Love and bless, bless.